So I want to tell you about this new translation tool I just discovered. Now, I got an email last week from this lady at this company called Immersive Translate. And normally, all these emails go straight to my junk folder. I get far too many, and normally they are no good. But something about this kind of stood out, mainly because it claimed to be solving a problem that I've been trying to fix for five years, really, which is finding a tool that really provides correct contextual translations of stuff. Uh, as you probably know, Google Translate is fine for lots of things, but sometimes gets things quite badly wrong. And this uses lots of different AI models. You can choose the, the AI model that you like, and the results are so much better than what I was getting before. So I told the lady at Immersive Translate that I would make a short video kind of demonstrating how this tool works, both with normal web pages, you know, news, books, that kind of stuff, as well as how you can use it with English learning for curious minds. Because together, I think they are quite a formidable combination. So I'm just gonna pull it up now. So it's a Chrome extension. You add it to Chrome and then it pops up here. I've got this pro account, they gave me a, a pro account, which means I can use all of these different AI models to, to translate. So let me just show you how it works. I'm gonna to go to a Swedish page at the moment because I live in Sweden. Now, you don't have to be learning Swedish if you're watching this video. Most of you, I'm sure, will be learning English. But let me just show you how I use it and then we'll talk about how you can use it. So I've got up here, it automatically detects the language and translates it to English. What I can do is I can just go here and go translate. And what it will do is it translates every paragraph. So you can see the original here and then you see the translation in English. Now, if you speak Swedish, you'll probably know that this is a much better translation than you would get if you used something like Google Translate. And this article, is about Canada's liquid gold is caught in Trump's tariff war. So I thought, what better way to demonstrate how we can use this by going to an episode of English Learning for Curious Minds, which is about maple syrup too. So let's do that. Liquid gold, the great Canadian maple syrup robbery, which came out last year. So what I'm gonna need to do is change a few settings here because we are now going from English to another language. So let me choose, let's say Spanish. So I can do the same thing here. I can just see the transcript. And what I can do is I can go translate again. And you'll see there's these little circles that are going around. And you see here, after every line of the transcript, you have the inline translation, which is pretty cool. And if you're a Spanish speaker, you can probably already see that the translations here are much better than you'd be getting with Google Translate. But let me show you something that I think is even cooler than doing this. I'm gonna go back and get rid of the translation. Just gonna refresh the page. I think that does the trick. And what it is, is this setting, which I just found out about. You can hover and press control on your keyboard and it'll just translate a paragraph for you. So like this, I'm just pressing down a control and then hovering my mouse over it, you see? And if I want to get rid of it, I can just go back over it again like that. And why I think this is more powerful than translating the entire page is because if you translate the entire page, then, you know, as humans, we are by default a little bit lazy, at least I am. And so what I would find myself doing is just kind of looking down at the translation. This way, you can only bring up the translation when you need it, which is pretty cool. So how you could use this with an episode of English Learning for Curious Minds is you play the podcast, you listen along, and if you want to get a completely perfect 
AI powered translation. Then you're just listening. And if you need something to be translated, if you think, oh, I qu can't quite understand exactly what that was, you can just press control, hover your mouse, and there you go. Now, of course, that's a bit easy, but let's go to a more complicated sentence. Let's go to this one. For example, let's find this one. Okay, so seems pretty cool to me, and I'm certainly using it personally already. It's been really useful for my Swedish. They also have all these other features. I haven't checked them all out already, but there's like document translation, of course, translating websites, translating subtitles, PDFs, eBooks, and looks like they also have image translation stuff too, which is just really amazing. It was also featured as one of the Google Chrome and a favorite extensions of 2024. There's only what, 12 featured there. So it's quite something that, you know, the same company that makes Google Translate says this is one of the best extensions of the year. So I'll put a link down below if you want to go and try it out. It's a Chrome extension, so you can add it to Chrome for free. They have a premium option too, which gives you access to some of the more advanced AI translation services, but even the free version looks pretty good to me as well. So I hope you found this useful. It's certainly a tool that I've been enjoying using and I hope you will enjoy using it too.